It's seven and three quarter hours short of first light. And it's been confirmed tonight that 12 more farmers have been caught trying to leave the country with their farms. They were intercepted on a channel ferry after the crew reported clods of turf and topsoil jamming the doors to the hold. During the last month, over 400 farms have disappeared from Great Britain, particularly hard hit as Suffolk and Gloucestershire, now little more than patches of bare earth. It's not known for certain where the farms end up, but satellite pictures show what might be a large colony of agricultural holdings building up in Burma, where imported farms are known to be traded for large sums of money in underground markets. Debate 2000 is still in progress. Can we take a quick dip? I really think we should move on now to the French Revolution, to the style and content of that era. Oh, I don't believe it. You can... She has equated style and content. They're not the same thing. Oh, yeah, they are for her, though, aren't they? <laughs> yes, for her they are the same thing. Style and content. Look at her. Yes. I like That's very good. I like that. Style and oh, The same yes. thing. Well done. Marvellous, chaps. Marvellous. <laughs> the no, same thing. The same thing. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. The same thing. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. It's so male. That bonding, that laughing at me, it's just, I find it, it's just unbelievable. Uh, um, the French Revolution. Sorry, yes. who, put, who put this in my drink? I did. Why did you put this in my drink? Hmm? I want to see a choke on it. Oh, come on, man. I think this we can do has a really bit descended into something quite nasty. Don't you? I mean, I think we've got a bit further along the road than that, Mark. Hmm? Say, I mean. Oh! Uh, no, come on! Hey! There's plenty more where that come from and all. Right, well, I think <sighs> that's adequately uh, illustrated what the French Revolution was all about. So let's move on to it, shall we? What, its style or its content? <laughs> More now on that drama beneath the waves. We've just heard that the day-to-day -day has been successful in contacting the men trapped in a submarine at the bottom of the Pacific. The vessel sank yesterday and is now on the ocean floor over a mile below the surface. Crewman Chesney Christ is on the other end of this line now. Hello, Chesney. Hello, is McDonald's. Hello, Chesney. Who? How is everybody down there? Oh, we're getting on pretty well. We're, uh, we're, we're kind of busy right now. Is water getting in anywhere? Water? Yes. Uh, this, 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 this is a McDonald's restaurant, sir. <laughs> keep the spirits up, that's right. Yeah, we keep the spirits up, oh yeah. Oh yeah, woo! Uh, d tell me, do you have any food? Yeah, we have, we, we, have, we have food, yeah. Is your food supply nutritious enough to maintain human life down there for some time? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, sure, I mean, everybody, everybody likes it, huh? Tell me, uh, what can you see from where you are? Can you see any fish? No, no fish. I'm told that where you are may well be the domain of a giant squid. If one turned up, what weaponry could you employ to keep it out? Well, uh, I don't, I don't really know, but, you know, it's kind of Im kind of impossible to, uh, it sounds like you're not quite sure. Is this confidential information? I mean, I'm, I'm, working, I'm, work, I'm working for a fast food restaurant here. Uh, yeah, you're I'm, presumably I'm, talking in code. Are you about to blow up? No, I'm not. Well, could you tell everybody there not to move around because you'll use up the oxygen? Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll tell them that. Hang on in there and okay. count up to a million. Okay. We're with you every inch of the bloody way. Thank you. Yes, I know. Here's the weather now from Sylvester Stewart. Starting in the southeast, where it'll be a misty day tomorrow with a droplet density of about 50,000 per spherical inch. That's roughly as if the mist were hugging the ground like an over affectionate and rather damp dog. Over to East Anglia and the Midlands. It'll be a warm day tomorrow, about 20. That's the sort of warmth you might feel on a January morning walking into a heated drawing room after chopping some wood. And finally, into the north of England and Scotland. 
A strong and highly long-lasting day tomorrow, with hail aimed vertically downwards from above, and there'll be a 30% chance. The summary, then, breezes. And that's all the weather. And that's it. If the pedestrian of ignorance is crossing your road tonight, hit him square in the chest with the infobile.